Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 9 of Boku no Hino Academia, or My Hero Academia. Oh boy, that ending made me go, No, I want to see the next episode! <laughs> Dang it, uh, I want to see what happens when... Uh, why? They got a little bit of a cliffhanger in there and made me go, No! No! <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. This episode. All right. So, for this episode, it's a very more chilled, relaxed episode in a way. Like, not a lot happened in the beginning. Just kind of made me go, okay, I get it. Moving on, you know. Like, it was in, it was fine, you know. But it was just kind of like, okay, what's the point of this episode, you know. But, um, let's see. They have a class representative now. Uh, first, it was Deku. But then, after a certain situation where these media people trespassed onto the school, um, everybody freaked out, thinking it was, like, you know, a villain or something, I don't know. But then, um, the guy with the glasses, Ida, or Lita, or what the freak his name is, um, you know, calmed everybody down, and then they said, oh, okay, you'll be the class representative. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and let's see, after that, they, uh, are gonna do rescue training. Uh, they did have a little talk about with Ida, though, about, like, his, um, his family thing. Like, he's a rich boy. He's a Bochan. <laughs> he, at least he's not annoying like CL, because when I think of Bochan, I think of CL from Black Butler, but, ugh, we're not gonna get into that story. Um, anyway, <laughs> so he's a Bochan, and he's a rich boy, and his family is, like, this huge, long line of superheroes, and it's just, yeah, I was like, alright, I get it. Um... So, with this, uh, Aizawa takes them to a dome-shaped thing, and they're gonna have a training, uh, for rescuing people exercise type thing. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting, that'll be interesting to watch, you know, them, how they rescue people and stuff, and I thought, oh, that'll be, um, interesting. I hope Deku and, uh, uh, Ochako or Uraraka, or whatever frick her name is, uh, team up again. Um, because I like them, because they're, they're fun. Um, it was great, though. <laughs> they saw this hero, um, 13-something, or I don't remember what their name was, but they had this power black hole and stuff, and <laughs> Deku was doing his little fanboy thing, and then Uraraka, um, that's how I'm gonna say her name, Uraraka, um, she was over there like, <laughs> like this, she's like, <laughs> like, I was like, oh my gosh, she's a fangirl now, because, <laughs> oh gosh, Deku and her just go so well together, and a shipping sense I'm just like please ugh because I just ship that so much I just think it's adorable and I'm just like oh my gosh and she voted for him with the class rep thing and I'm just like oh she likes him <laughs> and there's also a little moment between her and uh Ito and like he was trying to calm people down that might make people ship them but I'm like no no Deku x uh Ochako Uraraka whatever freak her name is forever <laughs> anyway <laughs> um but then before they start their training exercise Guess who shows up? Villains! A bunch of villains show up! Great. Great. Oh man, that's gonna... Oh my gosh, just... Oh, uh, they're gonna have... I, man, I wanna see them fight them. Like, this would be like a real hero versus villain thing. Like, I wanna see that. Really bad. Because I want Deku to have his first encounter with a villain. Like, I mean, he's encountered villains before, but like... He's now kind of a hero, more in a sense, so he'll have his real first encounter. And it just makes me go, please! Like, All Might is... He can't transform right now. He's probably going to be able to, like, towards the middle of the episode next time. Like, Aizawa's going to get beaten down, and then All Might's going to come in and probably save everybody. Or, they'll all get to fight the villains. I don't know. I don't know. I just... Oh my gosh. I want them to fight the villains so bad. I'm like, please. Aizawa, don't tell them to stay back. Let them fight. Ugh. I want them to fight. I mean, I know they're just kids and everything. That's why they're doing it. But I'm just like, come on, guys. Let them fight. They... Ugh. I want them to fight the villains, especially the main one. And what's his power? What's with his weird hand things? Like, what's going on with that? I don't know. I don't know. Man, I just... I'm... I'm, like, so close to just going reading the manga online, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna wait. I've done... I almost did that with Bungo Stray Dogs, and I almost did that with JoJo, but no. I'm gonna wait for the next episode. It's gonna be great, I hope. 
So I'll see you guys in my next review, okay? Bye!